So, just a quick update today for the Bitcoin price and where things are headed. Let's check the crypto market cap. So we are still below the one trillion dollar level. We've lost that by quite a quite a good margin at this point, sitting at nine hundred twenty billion dollars for the global market cap. Bitcoin just barely, I mean, just barely holding that eighteen point five k level. Ethereum now at the price points that I was expecting, closer to twelve hundred, twelve ninety. And we'll talk about XRP and what's going on there a little bit later. But um, let's jump into the charts. So for Bitcoin, I mean, honestly, we've we've been in a period now for a solid amount of time of just consolidation. But I mean, it seems pretty obvious which way we're headed. I mean, I'm not too sure how many options Bitcoin has at this point. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of... Uh, overly bullish and excited uh behavior in the markets i'm not sure why that is for some reason there seems to be a group of people online i mean moon boys yes that's what we call them but it just looks like for some reason they're thinking this support is going to hold and we're going to break above this trend line that we've been respecting for such a long time now almost a year so it's interesting to me to see that personally i don't see that happening as I've stated many times, it looks like Bitcoin has no other option. But, I mean, if we don't lose this support immediately in the next day or two, we could have a little bounce back up. But this is the perfect point, actually, to enter a short position uh, around the 20,000, 19.5k level. If that does get hit again, that's the perfect point to enter a short, in my opinion. Because, as I've said multiple times, it does look like we will, if that happens, get a little bit of a bounce, but then ultimately get rejected down to the next support level so for bitcoin i mean let's just just to show you give you an idea look at the s p right now now if you watched any of the previous videos i said that the s p was headed to around the 3600 level and this is where we at with the with the s p right now 3674 and to be honest with you i don't see too much support in this zone so we could be looking at a free fall i mean once we lost this support we could be looking at another 5% drop and that puts us at around 3570. That's what I see for the S&P right now. I mean, I don't see too much support. Honestly, I mean, possibly we could maybe say this is support, but even if we wanted to be a little optimistic and say that this is support, I don't know how strong that support would be. So, looks like the S&P is headed the next point I could even imagine the S&P possibly bouncing is 35 70 around this level around the 3500 level so definitely not good to see S&P has been in this huge downtrend I mean sure it could bounce off this support but that's a long way down I mean if we were to measure that what is I mean we're talking yeah over a 7% 8% drawdown so that's not looking good so in general I mean Bitcoin is just barely holding on to this 18,000 this support level that we talked about and I'm not too sure. I mean, I do. I have been. I think a lot of people are expecting Bitcoin to lose this support and fall down to around thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars. But that's the that's the exciting thing about crypto. When everyone is expecting a certain thing, the market tends to surprise us and not do that. So we'll have to see what happens here. Let's take a look at Ethereum. So, Ethereum, as I said before many times. Traveling in this macro, I mean, this huge downtrend, same as the other charts. It looks like Ethereum is just starting to finally, you know, dip deeper into this support. And personally, I'm still in a short on Ethereum. I've been short since 17, 1800 about. So I'm still in the short and I'm looking to take profit soon. But I don't, you know, it's very important in trading not to be greedy, but... With the way the market looks at this point, I it would feel foolish foolish of me to take profits at this point. It's almost it almost seems inevitable that we end up around here at a eleven hundred, one thousand dollar Ethereum. So we'll have to see what happens with that. I just wanted to do a quick update on the Bitcoin and Ethereum price and see. You know, a lot of people asking is the bottom in? Has Bitcoin hit the bottom? Has Ethereum hit the bottom? You know, I don't think so to be honest. Not quite yet. Let's take a look at the fear uh, fear and greed index. Let me update this. So we're sitting. It looks like. We're moving closer and closer to just extreme fear. You can see here, I mean, last month, 25, last week. So, we, I mean, after that point where 
the opt the all the optimism in the chart on on the Bitcoin and Ethereum charts and people were saying that we were going to flip and we had already reached the bottom. It looks like market sentiment has been lost at, at this point right here. And so it looks like we are currently just in extreme fear. So we'll see how long that lasts. Now, the last thing I want to take a look at. So I understand I've been looking at, I'm not too interested in XRP to be honest, but when there's this type of movement in the charts, obviously people are interested in inquiring about it. So I, I understand that XRP has not been doing so well. I mean, if we just take a look, this chart is disgusting. I mean, I don't know what else to say here. This is a horrible looking chart. And, you know, some of you may understand what I mean when I say that, but this is just, this does not look like an asset, a chart of an asset that I'd be happy to invest in. Now, sure, I mean, at these price points, it does look like it has, it has, you know, it doesn't look like the Luna chart, let's say, where it's just never coming back. Of course, it could, but let's take a look at from where it is right now to get back to, so we're talking at 300%. That's almost, that's, a, that's around a 4X, okay? So... You know, I don't know. When I look at this chart, it just doesn't look good to me. I mean, I understand what all the hype is about because if we look at just the past week, we're talking a 50%, you know, a 1.5x, 50% gain in price. So I understand why all this momentum and, and hype is coming now around XRP. It looks like with regards to the SEC filing, looks like this case could come to a close, which that would be very bullish for XRP. But even if that were to happen, best case scenario, this is a huge level of uh, resistance, which used to be support. I mean, just like I've spoken about so many times and I actually made a video about which you should check out. But just, I mean, how many times? One, two right here, three. It looks like four times this has served as support. It lost support right here. And now it looks like it's flipping as resistance. So we'll have to see if it's able to break above this. This, lo this looks like a very strong resistance at this point. But I mean, I understand what all the hype is about. And to be honest, I don't hold any XRP, but this chart, looking at it just from this point, it is ugly, but it does look tempting to trade, to be honest with you, but I'm not sure. I mean, for the people who are wondering, you know, but if let's say, let's look at the, the Bitcoin chart, for example. When we look at the Bitcoin chart, for Bitcoin to achieve its all-time high again, to reach those levels, we would be talking, you know, a 200, 250% increase in price, okay? That was around November 2021. But when we, when we look at, um, when we look at the chart, though, for XRP, just evaluating here, when we look at the chart, and we analyze it, to be honest with you, it doesn't, I don't know, I mean, it, it might not be that far off, to be honest with you. Okay, I mean, yeah, 500%. So, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look like the Luna chart, which just looks like death. I mean, that chart just honestly looks dead to me, in my opinion. Let me go to logarithmic here to compress everything. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it is definitely at a very heavy point of resistance at this point. Very heavy. Now, for anyone interested in buying, best advice I would give maybe is to see whether or not it gets rejected off this and heads back down just because of the macros and how everything is looking in the market right now. Or to see if it's able to break above and retest. I mean, if, if, if XRP was able to do something like this, break above, come back down, test this as support, and then it still holds, that's that's a, that would be great to see. But... This, I mean, yeah, for now, I don't like the way this chart looks at all. It doesn't look good to me at all. But yeah, that's all for now. I just want to do a quick update, crypto news update and price, Bitcoin price update. So yeah.